Today I'm going to show you how to get started with IDX Zen for Wix. This is how the template looks in Wix. So to brand it to your website, what do we need to do? First, we need to change the search tool, then update the two widgets, Then we need to update the three popular searches, those would be saved links, and the view all listings, which is another saved link. First, we'll do the search tool. So first, for the search tool, we have to go to IDX Broker and then Access Control. Then we need to copy the API key and use it at idxaddons.com to log in. Next, go to Apps and select the Omni Search Generator. And once we find that, for Wix websites, we actually need to activate the Open New Tab button under Extra. This way, the results appear on a new tab. This is because of the way the search tool is embedded to the Wix site. Next, we have to copy the code and go over to the Wix editor. So once we're here, we click on the search tool, edit the code, and replace it with the one that we just copied. This is also where you can swap the hex codes for any of the colors. and then we can move on to the widgets. First, we'll do the main area widget. We need to go over to our IDX broker account again and create a new widget. You can do this by navigating over to Website, Design, Widgets, Legacy, and then click Create New. It's in the top right corner of the page. Then you can select Showcase, Custom Search, and Advanced Search. In this example, we're showing active listings only from Miami Beach. No price range, only showing listings with images. So we'll call it Miami Beach IDX Zen and change the number of listings to three since we have three properties per row in the widget currently. Okay, again, we'll need to open the listings on a new tab since we're editing a Wix website, and then we copy the code and head back to the Wix editor. Once we have that code copied, we click on the widget on Wix, click edit code, and replace the script portion only, not the style. For the CSS, that's the styling, we'll have a different widget ID. So we recommend copying the entire code to a text editor, and then we can manually replace or use find and replace to change just the IDX broker widget ID to our new widget instead. That'll keep that same styling. So that's where the widget code will appear. And you just want to replace it with the widget ID that you see in IDX Broker for the widget that you want to see there instead. If you want it to be styled right, you have to make sure that you both replace the script and replace the widget ID in the styling. And once you click update, you should have the Miami Beach listings or whatever listings you put there instead. We'll need to do the same thing for the sidebar next. 
So we'll go back to our IDX Broker account and then navigate back to widgets and the legacy widgets in particular again. Again, we'll create new and we'll make it a showcase. This time, still do custom search and advanced search. And instead of making these about a particular area, we'll create a widget for the newest listings in the MLS. Otherwise, we'll use the same rules, has an image, no price range. And there are five listings showing in the template. So we'll copy that when it comes to the number of listings setting. So, once you've got all your settings filled in, copy the code again and head back to the Wix editor. Edit code, replace the script at the top again, and for the CSS code below, same situation. We need to replace that widget code, but keep the other styling. So copy the code and paste it elsewhere to do your edits then paste it back into Wix when you're done. Making sure to have this code copied elsewhere will also help you in case you need our help with something. We can go ahead and look in the code to see what's been done before instead of having to make something from scratch. All right, next let's do the saved links. First, we'll create these three. Let's turn these into Miami Beach, Coral Gables, and Fort Lauderdale. To get to saved links, head back to IDX Broker, then Design, Website, Saved Links and click the Create Link button in the top right again. We'll do an advanced search, single family homes only, active properties from Coral Gables, no price range. And then we'll sort by newest with images Go to the next step. And then we just need to add a page title. And we can save and create another link. We'll select the same options again, except this time we'll do Miami Beach. So again, no price range sort by or has images then sort by newest and we'll call it Miami Beach as well and on to the third link so we'll do the same thing again advanced search only active properties in Fort Lauderdale no price range. With images, newest listings only. Next step. And we'll create one more, this time for the button on the other part of the website template. So we're gonna do Doral for this one. And once you have that named as well, you can go ahead and click Save and Manage Links this time. And then go on back to Coral Gables. Click Preview Link. Then copy the URL. 
and go back to the Wix editor to insert the link into the page. Click edit text, type in the new name, and click the link button to add a link to the text. Then we're done, on to the next link. So once we do the first link, again, we'll need to go back to IDX Broker to copy the second link, this time for Miami Beach. And paste it in the Wix editor. Don't forget to rename it as well. And once you have both of those, you can move on to the third. Again, we need to copy the link. Back to Wix, edit text. Make sure we rename it. And then we click that link button one more time. Now we just need to update the last button. So we're gonna go over to IDX Broker again, preview the link to get the URL, go back to your Wix editor. This time, select the button where it says view all listings and change the text if you wish by selecting change text and icon. We now have the updated listings from Florida with the widgets and save links built. So by following these instructions, you can brand this template for your own site easily. We really hope that this template's easy for everybody to use. And if you need anything else from us, including IDX broker integration or other support questions, please send us an email at support at realtycandy.com or contact us at 435-222. 5522. Thank you.